Hello everyone. Did you know SRF is one of the oldest and largest chemical based companies in India incorporated as Shri Ram Fiber in 1970s. Well, Dr. Bharat Ram founded Shri Ram Fibers which was predominantly a technical textiles company. In 1989, Shri Ram Fibers diversified beyond technical textiles and entered the chemicals business to manufacture refrigerants. In the initial phase, company introduced nylon tire cord fabric plant at Manali, Chennai and later introduced fishnet twines and nylon engineering plastics in the same location. Well, today company expanded its business in some more segments. To discuss all, let's dive in the video. SRF Limited is popularly known as chemical based multi business entity engaged in the manufacturing of industrial and specialty intermediates. The company's diversified business portfolio covers fluorochemicals, specialty chemicals, packaging films, technical textiles and coated and laminated fabrics. Management executives of the company. The company is run by Mr. Arun Bharat Ram who is grandson of Lala Shri Ram, founder of DCM Group. Arun Bharat Ram's sons Ashish Bharat Ram and Karthik Bharat Ram are also completely active in the management of the company. Mr. Ashish Bharat Ram. Mr. Ashish is the son of Mr. Arun Bharat Ram. He holds a degree in economics from Delhi University and an MBA from the Johnson Graduate School of Management, Cornell University. Prior to joining SRF Limited, Mr. Ashish had successful stints at DCM Toyota Limited, SRF Finance Limited, and SRF Overseas Limited. Mr. Karthik Bharat Ram. Mr. Karthik is also son of Mr. Arun Bharat Ram and younger brother of Mr. Ashish Bharat Ram. He is a graduate from Santa Clara University, California and MBA from Cornell University, New York. Mr. Karthik also holds the position of chairman in Kama Holdings, a company that holds a majority shares in SRF Limited. Business of the company. SRF is basically a chemical producing company, but over the years it has expanded in many segments which are packaged films, technical textiles, and others. The chemicals business segment comprises two product verticals, namely fluorochemicals and specialty chemicals. Further, SRF packaging films are used in food and non food packaging, labeling, industrial, and also various other end applications. Two kinds of packaging film produced by company are biaxially oriented polyethylene terephthalate and biaxially oriented polypropylene films. In technical textiles, SRF is the largest manufacturer in India. In some products, it enjoys global leadership. The products under this category are tire cord fabrics, TCF, belting fabrics, polyester industrial yarn. Despite these, in other segment, company is into coated fabric and laminated fabric. To read detailed analysis on our blog, click on the given link. Let's move to revenue from operations. More than 44% of revenue comes through chemicals segment, 38.4% from packaging films. Whereas, 14.65% of revenue comes through technical textiles and rest by others. Now, geographical revenue. Well, SRF is not only providing its products in India but exporting in more than 90 plus countries. Its domestic region contributes 42.30% in revenue whereas 57.70% of revenue contributed through overseas. South Africa, Germany, USA, Belgium, Switzerland and Thailand are the main markets for the products of the company. On manufacturing facilities, SRF has 11 facilities in India and 3 facilities overseas in South Africa, Thailand and Hungary. Cost Structure As of March 22, the company's major expense that has incurred on raw materials comprised a proportion of 51%. Whereas, power and fuel costs comprised 9% and employ costs reported at 6%. Moreover, selling and distribution expenses reported at 6% of net sales. On competition side, SRF is facing competition from different competitors in different fields. Because there are various private players in the field as well. So here are the major competitors of SRF Limited which are RT Industries, Naveen Florine International Limited, Gujarat Fluorochemicals Limited, Aflex Limited and many more. Now we will discuss financial parameters. Company's revenue has increased at a CAGR of 13.48%. On the other hand, profit after tax increase at a CAGR of 54.44% in the past 10 years. Moreover, its ROS and ROC has also improved from FY21 to FY22. Company has also reduced its debt to equity in the past 10 years. Management Key Points 
management expects positive outlook for the Indian economy because of infrastructure development, agricultural growth and also growth in auto sector is likely to have a positive effect on the performance of the technical textiles business. Moving ahead, in specialty chemicals business company's main focus is on agrochemical and pharmaceutical segments. Company is targeting 20% margin in its agrochemical segment as its products are selling well. Further, SRF likely to commission soon a project of an agrochemical intermediate of 1000 MTPA at Dahage at a projected cost of 250 crore rupees. Expanding the capacity of intermediate product that finds application in both agrochemical and pharma intermediates at 72 crore rupees. Expanding its belting fabric capacity at Viralimalai from 13,200 MTPA to 21,600 MTPA at a cost of 162 crore rupees over the period of three years. Strengths and weaknesses. Strengths. The company is the market leader in most of its business segments. Due to extensive experience in handling fluorine, it is the sole producer of some key refrigerants in India. In the technical textile business TTB, the company is the largest nylon tire cord fabric manufacturer in India and continued addition of new value added products in the belting fabric segment, part of the TTB, should further enhance the market position. SRF has a diversified revenue profile with presence across CB, 42%, PFB, 38.4% and TTB, 17%, segments in terms of revenue in fiscal 2022. The management has also successfully diversified its geographical presence through investments in the PFB segment in South Africa, Thailand, and Hungary. The diversified revenue profile protects against downswing in any one business and keeps the operating margin steady. Weakness The company is continuously incurring capex in specialty chemicals of the CB segment and is also expanding manufacturing facilities other segments. Capex was around 2000 crore rupees during fiscal 2022. SRF has invested around 1500 CRS every year on capex building in the last five years and the company has further capex plan of 3,330 CRS for fiscal 2023 out of which majority will go into chemical business segment. However, profitability of a molecule in the CB segment depends on successful commercialization and acceptability, while cyclicality is inherent in the PFB and TTB segments. Therefore, the ability to maintain strong revenue growth and sustain the operating margin will remain a key monitorable. That's it for today. Check out our blog section for more meaningful in-depth insights. Link in description box. Like our video if you find anything valuable. And comment if you have any query.